Hey, Soul Family. I'm just sitting in Duchess, and I thought I would uh, do a reading. <sighs> I've done some things in here. This might have something to do with the reading, maybe not. Um, for one thing, I'm bringing myself to a small, secluded place where only my energy is prominent, so I can assure myself of the energy that's here. It's positive, right? Because whatever I put into it, that's what I'm going to get out. It's bouncing back off the walls. What I've done was I've, I've reorganized things in here um, as if I were in my living room right now. So I decided that while I do my readings, I have all of my Zoe stickers, my girlfriend, the artist, all the way, these are magnets, all the way across the top. Even my little magnets I've covered with really positive affirmations and happy stickers. Um, it goes all the way down. So that's above me. That energy is with me. Across from me, I've got my Uncle Phil's painting that he did for me. I have a silo in a barn in a field with a grove of trees, which is like my heaven. He had, he water, it was a watercolor he did for me. So it holds the energy of, of a, it transports me there, but it's also holding the loving energy of my Uncle Phil. And then my girlfriend, Pamela Becker, who owns a art, um, she's a, she owns a gallery. She's an artist in, in Sedona. I have two of her pieces up there. So I'm going to choose our items from what I'm looking at. So the first item to the right, it would, it would be a woman. Um, I'm going to describe them to you. So first is going to be ravens. Second is barn and silo. Third is... I heard a Mediterranean walk along the water. That's what I heard. It could be Mexico. It could be California. It's just the energy... So wherever it is, it's somewhere that's, that's beautifully well done. I see a red rock reflection. So it could even be um, Amara Resort and Spa here. Amara, I think it's called. Um, but you get the drift. She's dressed really nice. She's got like, what are these on? But it's lace. It's flowy. She's wearing a dress. But she's got bare feet and she's, got, she's standing in the grass. So she feels free. She's here in Sedona. She's me. I just heard. Okay. So she's seeing a reflection of the twin souls behind her. Um, so the first one is, it could be all you, right? Or it could represent three different things. The first one, she's balancing. She's in balance and she has magic in front of her and miracles on its way. The magic has, ener magical energy has gone past her. Like it's like it's, she's swimming in it. It's literally gone and like dropped magical energy. So the, the raven is here. And then the other raven is coming, which is miracles. So you're caught up in a, in a spiral of new beginnings that's blessed by spirit. It's literally, she's in the vortex. Ooh, I love that energy. My One of my spirit names is she who walks with raven. So I love that. Even though I know that that's me, this is me there, but this is me manifesting, right? So in the center is this peaceful energy. So here she is manifesting. How do you manifest? You bring yourself to a place of peace. You bring yourself like where I am. I'm manifesting. I'm in a place of peace. I'm in my own energy. My cat just came and joined me, Safira. And the result is this standing here, dressed in a beautiful gown, looking at the reflection of the twin, arms out to the side, hands in the grass, giving thanks. So active manifestation, the place of um, dreaming, creation, It's like you put your request out to the universe, you do your, you, you let your blessings go to the wind, and then you bring yourself to a place of peace and you relax. <sighs> you take a deep breath and the outcome is the, re is the um, result. So one step, two step, three steps. All acts are amazing. You, which, of, which stage are you in, perhaps? Um, maybe this will show you. So we have four decks. Um, I'll use these three for the three answers, and then I'll use the romance deck for all of them, okay? So here we go. The first deck, the ones who chose the raven and the act of manifesting, you're being asked to detach from the situation. So whether that's you put your request out, you do what you need to do, and then you detach. You allow things to come to you. You allow spirit to do its part. Spirit says, we're coming to you in your dreams. Um, it could be daydreams. It could be night dreams. What We're bringing information to you in your dreams. If you don't remember your dreams, that's okay because your subconscious mind 
records it and it becomes an epiphany or a thought that you have. Why did I have that thought? Why did I think that? Because I've seen that in my dreams. Spirit showing me something. Correct neutrality. So they're telling you to connect with your intuition. Um, it's bringing promise. It's bringing positivity. Um, and you're supposed to enjoy every aspect of it. Right? You're, you're walking. It's a journey. It's not all about the destination. It's about the manifestation, the, the, the percolating time or the time of alchemy. And then there's the enjoying the manifestation. And then there's another manifestation, right? It just keeps going again and again. So while you're going through this process, you're guarded and protected. Spirit says you're safe, right? You're safe and what you need, you will get. I, what's the, no word of a lie? Police car just drove by. He's drove, driven by slowly, so like he's on patrol. You're safe, guarded, and protected. <laughs> How funny is that? I mean, that's literally literal. You may have a cop in your life, or maybe somebody does that for work. All I know is that's pretty loud message that Spirit says you're, you're safe, guarded, and protected. I'm going to leave it at that. I couldn't have done that, you know, if I'd called that in. So there's a message about paying attention to what's going on around you, right? You're getting confirmation and messages as you go. <laughs> okay, the place of peace. The place of peace, wherever your sacred space is. This is mine. My backyard, I was hanging out in my backyard for a while, and I thought, I've got to hang my pictures up on my back wall. I've got Audrey Hepburn, cat, and I've got Clint Eastwood, cat. I'll show you guys after. It's pretty damn cute. I'll show you what I did, too, with my magnets and my rearranging. It feels less, it more streamlined. Okay. Um, messages. There's two, which is pretty interesting. Oh, are you a bug? Are you a bug? I don't know if I just brought an ant in here with me. Um, so Bast comes out, which is interesting. Bastet, that's the cat goddess. So I resonate well with her. Um, she's talking about your your independence is what you are. You are. Or step into your abundant energy. Look at your cat energy. Cats are independent. Safira came in to join me, but that's because she wanted to. Because the energy felt great in here. I give her the freedom to choose if she wants to come or go. Right? That's the message. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. Because you stand in your own power, you can do whatever you want, but I'm doing this. This is me. I'm independent of you. I don't I don't make choices based on the need. I, I choose because it's what I want. Right? I work for spirit. Spirit, work, spirit works for me. They've got my back. I am safe. The next message is Aphrodite. So awaken the goddess within you. Whether this is male or female, it makes no difference. Um, I, I will tell you that the one that I, I want for me is also someone who's independent and who is a um, an alpha, right? I'm an alpha female. I'm an alpha female wolf. I want an alpha male, right? And not so that we can block heads, but because we're compatible, right? I don't want anything less than that. Um, so... This is asking you to awaken the inner goddess, which talks about self-care, um, appreciate the beauty within, like, so self, positive self-talk, confident affirmations would be a really powerful thing. See yourself as God sees you, as spirit sees you, as your highest self sees you. See yourself as Bastet. That is my, that's, that's what I would say to myself, right? I'm Liren. Bastet, I am the, from the house of the cats, clearly. So see yourself as best at that. Your, your draw is, is your ability to balance. Your draw is your independence. Your draw is I don't need you. If I choose you, I choose you because I want you, right? Whether that be a person, a place, or a thing. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels, right? I, I'm just looking for compliments at this point, right? And I don't mean compliments like tell me how great I am. I mean, you must compliment me. If you compliment me, then that works. If you don't, what's the point, right? I've worked too hard for this. Correct for neutrality on all levels. So it's not ever about, you know, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's about recognizing the divinity within yourself and expecting nothing less than what you're offering, right? I like it. Correct for neutrality. So then we get to the manifestation. You're in the Mediterranean. Maybe you want to... You're actually not because it looks like Sedona to me. <laughs> so, I mean, where are the red rocks? Um... And a walkway. I, I see that. What's really interesting to me is when I lived in Sturgeon Bay, Door County, I lived there for a year. And I used to go to Otumba Park. And there was this beautiful walkway along the water, along the bay. And it looks like that. And I said that Sedona is the, is the California of the, of the Midwest. That's how I feel about Sedona. I love Wisconsin and I love things about California. But Sedona is the best of both as far as I'm concerned. It's the Wisconsin, like the Sturgeon Bay of California. Sedona. It's the happy medium. Oh, man. 
Don't get me started. <coughs> Emphasis on that three times. I have to listen back to what I'm saying because I'm channeling. It's the happy medium, which is what I am. I am a medium. <laughs> it's the happy medium. Okay. For those who chose the happy medium, abundance comes your way. And abundance just come, doesn't come in just one form, right? Abundance is being in the right place at the right time. It's uh, it's being awake to opportunities. It um, could be material harvest. It can be um, love. Whatever it is, it's abundant. It's abundant in whatever it is that you've been asking for, whatever it is that you need, right? And, and you know what they're saying is music is playing. I am rhyming. Music is playing. So when you're in harmony with the universe, that's how you manifest, right? But there's support coming towards you. Maybe it's encouragement. Um, whatever you're, if you're worried about scarcity of lack in any way, financial, emotional, spiritual, what am I able to bring to the table? Whatever it is, spirit says we will bring you a steady flow. Whether you need psychological um, sustenance, whether you need emotional uplifting, whether you need spiritual connection, whether you need your, your highest self to be alerted, so that your mind is working um, at the top notch of its ability intellectually so that you can connect and bring abundance towards yourself in all ways. Spirit says we are, we are with you. And so affirmation, didn't I say affirmation? So an affirmation, I accept good graciously into my life. All of my needs are abundantly here for me now and for always. I am safe. Spirit's got my back, right? Spirit's got my back. All right. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Say it, say it, say it until you believe it. All right, we're going to pull a romance angel for each of the aspects of yourself or each of the different ones that you were aligning with. I take all of these messages, so to me it's like whatever, um, I get the messages from, from everything that, that comes to me. Correct for neutrality on all of us. For those who chose the woman who is actively manifesting, you know, somebody said, if people had misunderstandings about you, if people had judged you or misjudged you, and now they're taking a look at you and realizing, you know, how could that person be blessed in so many ways? How are they so happy and moving forward positively if they are what I thought or what those people said? And then you're realizing the naysayers or the reason that people that are happy and, and successful are hated at the same time because other people that aren't there don't like it, right? It throws them off a of balance. It points out what they need to work on. Codependency. <laughs> I couldn't make this up codependency it's pointing out the codependency to them oh my goodness this person is codependent what do we say about her she is free she stands on her own she's balanced right she's got magic coming she pays attention to it and i mean and then miraculous energy follows it to carry her right so spirit says right now there's an issue with codependency maybe somebody else isn't in your life because they have codependent issues and you do not you're not going to be aligned energetically with someone you can't pull towards you what is out of alignment with you you're going to repel one another or you're going to miss each other right you're not in alignment somebody's got addiction issues that are affecting their romantic life whether they're addicted to um acceptance whether they're addicted to um, outside validation, whether they're addicted to food, alcohol, drugs, negative thinking, um, repeating cycles and patterns. It's an addiction issue. And that's what's affecting your romantic life at this time. So I asked that question, is this, is this my story? Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what you're showing me? Now, if you chose that one as your number one, um, totem, yes. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the going to the place of peace. So to me, it's like, all right, if there's somebody in my life that's dealing with addiction issues, that's not my problem. It's their issue to handle. I got my own stuff to handle. So I go to a place of peace. I keep myself centered and balanced, right? That person's out there trying to balance themselves. Spirit's helping them. But it, it requires effort to balance yourself on a pillar like that. She's on a pillar way up above in the sky. So it's requiring effort, but there's magical energy and miraculous energy all around that situation. So they're being assisted, right? So then you go to a place of peace and surrender and allow. Spirit says what you can also do is express your feelings, express your love. Go ahead. If you're asking if you should make a romantic gesture, the answer, the answer is yes. Express yourself. You know, it doesn't have to be for a man and woman, woman, man, lover. I was at the art show yesterday and... This girl said something and her husband said, come on. And she says, oh, my husband says I'm such a handful. And I said, what do you mean? She, he thinks you're too much? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, tell him to go find less. And we all laughed and he laughed. She was adorable. 
She was so cute. I said, and so she walked away and I said, hey, you are adorable. And she goes, oh my gosh. And she got all Twitter pitted. And I said, you know what? I was thinking it. And so I thought I would say it. Why not say something nice that you're thinking about, right? So express yourself. So it's a loving thought. And she loved it. And her husband smiled and he was cute. I mean, he was probably 15, 20 years older than her, but she looked and I'm like, well, she could be his kid, but she was adorable and she was funny and he was handsome. The point is, it doesn't matter what it looks like to other people. I saw the differences between them. And at, at the same time, I saw why they were with each other. Like he's like more reserved, a little, you know, older. And she's like full of life and exuberance. And she just kind of flies. He's kind of entertained by her. There, there was a give and take of balance. It was beautiful. But my point was, say what you're feeling. If you have something nice to say, say it. It doesn't help other people if you hold it back right? It made her feel good. Made me feel good to say it. Correct mentality on all levels. For those who chose the woman looking at the reflection of the twin souls with her feet in the grass and her arms out to the side and the wind blowing through her hair and she's just saying, staying in a state of grace, saying thank you. I love that one. True love. What you've been asking about, this is the love of a lifetime. That is the love of your life. You're right. And Spirit says, what's missing here is there needs to be some playfulness. Lighter energy needs to be injected into this situation. But possibly, in order to allow that to happen, you need to be playful. You need to be fun like her. She lifted everybody's energy. So Spirit says, if you want help with this true love, then you do what you can to keep your energy uplifted and happy and be the spiritual cheerleader that you are. Bring the playfulness out in this relationship. Maybe things have been too serious. You know, lighten things up a little bit. There's such beautiful energy here. I see true deep lovers, two deep companions, thoughtful of one another, so happy in one another's energy. And yet it also makes them feel light and playful and brings out a sense of youthfulness. I love this. That's what I love this. All right. I'm going to call it a wrap. That's good. I'll let you guys uh, digest that. Take that in. That was pretty cool. I have all of these decks already. But I was at the Goodwill and they were brand new, brand new in the boxes. And I thought, well, I don't have them in Duchess, so I'll get them. And now I pretty much have, I have such a surplus of decks in here, some different ones and some repeats, but I've got lots. So I can just walk into this bus from any place and feel like I'm in one of my most magical offices, right? I'm all set up. It feels fabulous. I have two offices, depending on the energy, how I feel. Maybe I, I wanted a little privacy. My friend John is staying in my guest room right now, and he's here for like a month. And um, while we get along well, I, I like my own private energy, right? He here, and also it gives him some quiet time because I talk out loud when I do my readings. So it's a place where I can come and be light and be happy and be free, and not disturb him too. So I'll show you what I did. So I've got this is you standing on the pillar, right? She's got magic flying here and miracles. And look, there's backup if you need it. This is the ravens. This is here, but see how she's strong and she's determined. She's, she's moving forward. Look at the mercury on her wing, or the little wings on her ankles like mercury retrograde. This is the time period we're in right now. This isn't later, this is now. And then this is also, this is a watercolor. So emotional, visualizing. You know, seeing yourself in this setting, what does it do for you? Oh, it relaxes me. To me, it does, right? There's, there's love from this. And my uncle feels energy. And it's a place I love. It, I love to be in the trees. And I love this. And then here she is, right? She's on this beautiful boardwalk. And here's the water right here. And there's fire. I love fire. That's And then it's sunset. But look at that. Looks like Sedona. And then the mirror. And she's got her feet on the grass. And she's feeling the wind moving through her. That's a manifestation, right? Manifesting. How do I manage? I'm determined. I'm balanced. I'm, I'm calling it in. And then I go here. I relax and I allow things to germinate, manifest and grow. And then here I've manifested it. So here's what I wanted to show you. All my little magnets, right? These were, or these would hold up my curtains, but they were just like, a, this is just black and ugly. And I thought, you know what? I love Zoe's work. So I've got it on all of them and they all have something positive to say. And then I've got my, there I, I'm, I'm, uh, I just connected it with, uh, oh, she's a little lower than him. Hmm. Um, it's magnets and it's being reinforced. So I've, I'm holding this down so that it, uh, <laughs> aren't they awesome? Uh, I look at Safira, who's in my front seat and Finn, not Finn, uh, Merlin, the magician. I love that hat he's wearing. 
in any case, um, that's what we've done. And then behind here, that's my logo for my business. The Angels Whisper, She Who Walks with Raven, E.T. Angel, and I am a spiritual cheerleader with my website, my email address, my phone number. And that's me with all of my prominent animal totems. And these are all the backdrop for when I do my readings. And my praying mantis for patience, the art of stillness and knowing when to strike. This is the positive energy, right? Here's me and my boss. This is my, my twin and I self. This is shoot for the moon you'll land amongst the stars this is owl clan for my uncle phil and i dreams hold on to your dreams angels got your back pay attention see past the illusion through the deception and understand you are blessed there's always an emergency exit spirit will always show you if there's a way that you need to get out but you're supplied with all the tools you need right you can hit your target Ooh, let's just hear this as our closing okay i'm super tired sorry but listen to this So what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm hearing the wind moving through the trees, calling, bringing the message, sending the message out right now during Mercury retrograde. It's being carried on the wind while spirit lined these things up. And then here you are and you hear the answering call, the wind moving through the trees. The manifestation is here. synchronicity pay attention to the synchronicity spirit says i think that needs to go right there that just is who the aristocats if you don't know who the aristocats are this is the aristocat i'm Duchess. all right take care i love you guys speak soon